Hi, I'm J.D. Enright, CEO of TMG Core. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this presentation. During this presentation, you're going to hear about TMG Core, who we are, and our auto technology platform like the one behind us here, the Auto 120. Throughout history, great American companies have worked closely with the military to develop innovative, evolutionary technology. From the Wright brothers, to the Black Hawk, from single stage rockets, to the International Space Station. Collaboratively, we've changed the world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. Hi, my name is William Hadala. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer. Sitting behind me is the world's most advanced two-phase liquid immersion supercomputer. When you think about the densities of auto, we're able to deploy data centers anywhere in the world, specifically on the edge. Especially for the Space Force, which is trying to deal with space assets in space, more and more space assets are integrating AI and machine learning and the ability to do real-time analytics, not only in space, but to transmit that data from space to the ground or from the ground to the air to the space is at a time needed the most from our national security. Our platform here has the ability to set up a dynamic mesh network using layer two software defined wireless area networking and virtualization to not only optimize the communications from a ground-based auto system but to a space asset system whereby the chips in satcom satellites are actually optimized with companies like intel to take advantage of the amazing density right on the ground with these auto units as time goes on, that same network that we're communicating from the ground to the air into the space and vice versa will be truly optimized for AI and machine learning as we address the big data bottleneck latency issues that the United States military is facing right now. In addition to the United States Space Force, this same technology can be used by every satellite operator in the world, especially with low Earth orbiting satellites, whether it be Starlink or any other provider out there. Because now all of a sudden, when we put AI in space and then eventually data centers in space, this will be a game changer for our global community. So what is two-phase liquid immersion cooling? which is the really the heart of auto technology. Well, two-phase liquid immersion cooling is exactly what it sounds like. It's we use a liquid to cool our high-performance computing, and it allows us to get extremely high density, 7,000 watts plus per server, which you could never do in air or any other technology. But we do that using a fluid that changes phase. A, the first phase is a liquid form, and that's in the primary tank, what we call the hydropod. And then we insert the, the different servers inside, whether it be, and you can put a CPU server uh, next to a GPU server. And we immerse these servers, these really high performance computing servers into the fluid. As we start to power up and run the workloads onto the server, those chips get really hot. Well, that fluid then absorbs that heat thermally and it transforms into a second phase, which is a vapor phase. And that vapor phase then rises up naturally and we have cooling coils on the inside of the hydropod, which we circulate warm water, 90 degree Fahrenheit or higher water, and in some cases over 100 degrees water, so we're not having to do any chilling of any fluids, so it's extremely efficient. And then that vapor then creates a pressure drop across the coil, it then gives up its heat to the cooling coil and then collapses back into the liquid, and it just goes on and on and on forever. We designed Auto to be fully self-healing. As we deploy these things, they are a truly lights out application. So imagine, if you will, an Air Force deployment around the world to support our space assets in a secure, efficient, resilient way. So you have hundreds, if not thousands, of these micro data centers, these auto data centers, deployed around the world. Now, the ability to have no operators present and you can remotely dial in through an API, a secure API, through our auto manager software, which we developed in-house, which is the brains of the auto itself, allows for us to configure into the auto manager software through the programmable Go logic control, a state whereby the server will automatically be hot swapped out by the robotic system, what we call the Autobot. And we have a standby magazine of standby servers in the auto itself that are ready to go. And upon the PLC smart auto manager 
system um, recognizing a degradation in performance, it will automatically self-heal. It'll remove the existing uh, failed server, put it into the blank slot in the magazine, pull a new server up, and it'll swap that out, boot it up on its own, reconfigure it, and it's back up and running without having to go out and send any operators out there with zero impact to your ongoing operations. In addition to that, you can configure all of your maintenance through push notifications on our HMI. As you can see here, there's a uh, localized HMI touchscreen on every unit, and we can deploy these right out to the edge and what we call even over the edge, uh, whereby you can control these from a centralized knock or even from space for that matter. So if you were on the International Space Station and you were having issues with one of these micro data auto data centers, you can literally switch from one to the other. This is a very unique technology that we've developed as a holistic self-healing application for the micro data centers. In the last two years, we've established eight patents. We basically own two-phase immersion cooling from a IP perspective. One might think this is extremely expensive. To the contrary. From our smallest unit at say 4.5 kW, what we call the auto edge box, somewhere around $55,000, up to our auto 600 for about 1.2 million. That is unparalleled. It's a quantum leap in the computing and a quantum leap in efficiencies and a quantum leap in your ability to have computing on the edge for zero latency applications. TMG Core is a Texas-based company. We're just north of Dallas, Texas, based in Plano. We're on a 11-acre campus in a 150,000 square foot, brand new Class A Type 3 data center where we've developed all of our technology. You're welcome to come here. We have visitors coming in every day. Some of the brightest minds in academia and in the industry are flowing through these hallways every day. We knew it was important to partner up with the best American companies we could find. Companies like Intel and Dell and Unicom and Jabil. We work very closely and partner with companies like 3M. We have development agreements with them, working on establishing benchmarks for, for the type of dielectric fluids that we use, all the way to the manufacturing, all done here in the United States. I'm Austin Hypes, the Chief Technologist and Vice President of Engineering. We're designing a series of advanced server blades for both high-density compute and high-density GPU acceleration, specifically for use in the auto platforms. As two-phase immersion cooling continues to develop, we're actually seeing higher TDPs or thermal design power, uh, silicon being developed uh, by our partners such as Intel, so that in the future, we'll be able to do things with two-phase immersion cooling that cannot be done with any other cooling solution, including single-phase cooling. My name is Mike Mariani, and I'm the Global Sales Director for IoT and the OEM business for the Dell account for Intel. Intel is working alongside Dell uh, to develop systems specifically for TMG Core's auto. Uh, we see auto technology as the uh, premier technology that can really bring uh, compute, high performance computing, immersion cooling computing to uh, everyday compute. Our culture is one of transparency, obligation to each other, obligation to our ecosystem and our partners, and obligation to our country, first and foremost. Thanks for joining us for that short video and seeing about TMG Core and auto technology. And until next time, Go USA! Hey, one more thing. Check this out.